So coming to the second topic that is the nature and scope of marketing. Well the first nature is it's a consumer oriented process. Now what do we mean by that? It means that consumers are the ones whom we are trying to satisfy at the end of our entire marketing process. The whole marketing process is undertaken to satisfy human wants. Hence, we are focusing and our entire orientation is only towards the consumer. The second one being C2C, that is, it starts with the consumer and it ends with the consumer. So, what we're trying to say over here is marketing starts even before the production process. It starts with understanding what does the consumer really want. That is undertaking certain basic research, understanding the consumer's wants, desire, their preferences, their taste, and accordingly on the same basis, having the production process on the basis of the information gathered from the consumer. So production is directly based on the information gathered from the consumer. And then in the sense it ends with the consumer because we need to provide the same goods and services which are provide, which are produced to the consumer and make sure that they are satisfied with our goods and services. The third being, it is the guiding element of business. Initially, marketing was only considered as a sub part of business, not as a main function. However, in the change time today, marketing has come to become one of the most important and rather a guiding element of business in the terms that it's been recognized that marketing directly contributes to the main goal of business that is profit making and increasing in productivity. Next being, it is a system. In the sense, marketing consists of a lot of interdependent and interrelated concepts. It does not function all by itself. It is a combination of various other functions and processes and works as a system by itself. And it is a dynamic process. The next being goal-oriented process. Like every other function, even marketing has an end goal to itself, which is profitability but with the ends of reaching it through consumer satisfaction. Marketing focuses solely and wholly on the consumer. As already said, marketing starts with consumer and ends with consumer. What we're trying to say over here is this, that marketing aims at satisfying the consumer wants and hence leading to profitability and productivity for the organization. The next being it is a process of exchange. Well, in the very definition of markets, we learned market is nothing but a group of buyers and sellers who are willing to exchange certain goods and services. So we understand that the entire marketing process is based on the premise of exchange. By that we mean it should be a value creating process. At the end of the exchange, both the parties involved should be in a better off position than what they were when they started off with the exchange process. And finally, it's saying it is a process. Well, it consists of various sub functions which are interrelated and interdependent. It does not function by itself in isolation. It comes with the pricing function, the conception function, the distribution, the promotion, and the other piece which we shall discuss in the future sessions.